Hola a todos. Today is my second to last day studying abroad here in Sevilla, Spain. I'm going to meet up with the rest of the group for a little talent show. Here we go. How's the talent show going so far? Wonderful. Good. Now, my roommate just went up there and yeah. he's like, wonderful. Killed it. Killed it. Great job, Guido. The talent show was a success, and now we're heading on for the rest of the night. And we'll be back here for our farewell party tomorrow. We're walking through El Centro right now, right next to your cathedral. Yep. How, how are you feeling? I'm pretty the, good. The program being over is kind of crazy. I mean, I'm a little sad to go home, but really enjoyed it so far. Mi español es bueno o mal? Get right. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, these pork cheeks are fat. <laughs> what? <laughs> We had dinner, it was absolutely delicious. Now we're just kind of walking around the center of Sevilla, enjoying one of our last nights here. All right, I'm walking back home now through Plaza Nueva, this really cool plaza here in Sevilla. Tomorrow is our last day of class and we're gonna be giving presentations about our personal development over the last month. And then we're gonna have a farewell go away party saying bye to all our, our CIE friends. And then Saturday, I'm out of here, heading to the next location, which will be revealed very soon. It's been an amazing trip and I'm excited for tomorrow. Here we go, last day of Spanish school here in Spain. How are you guys feeling about the last day of school? Sad. Sad. Yeah, last yeah. day of school, man. I wish you could stay longer, but oh uh, well. I know, man. Hola. Me encanta. No tengo camiseta de dos. Me gusta un montón. Muchas gracias. Perfecto. How are you guys feeling about leaving Spain? I'm a little sad, I'm really sad, but it's okay. Like, I want to go home to air conditioning yeah. and yeah. my bed. You guys started off saying you were sad, and then you were just like, AC, I need to get out of here immediately. <laughs> no, but like, like, it's a love hate relationship. I was just about to say that, yeah. I'm yeah. sad to leave, I'm happy to go home. My favorite thing about this trip has been meeting new people, learning Spanish. I learned a lot of Spanish, I would say. My favorite thing was the Granada trip. That was pretty fun, getting to stay in a hotel with air conditioning. Same. <laughs> I'm walking through this plaza near my house for probably one of the last times. It's crazy, very bittersweet feeling. There have just been so many incredible people on this trip. I've learned so many incredible things. Man, I'm gonna miss you all. My already tiny room is a mess right now. It's crazy. Also, something crazy that I realized when I was talking with a kid in this study abroad program from my school back home is that I start my senior year of high school in 10 days. 10 days. What the heck? This definitely feels like the fastest summer of my life. I recently found this insanely delicious cafe, just a minute walk from my apartment. It's got great acai bowls, coffee, croissants, everything. So I'm gonna go there one last time before leaving. Also, I got to know the guy who works at the panaderia, the pan 
we have bread store right here, so I'm gonna go say bye to him. So quiero decir adiós porque te vas. Hoy es mi final día, sí. Sí, tío. Pues nada, tío, que te vaya bien el vuelo y demás. Y aquí tienes un amigo para lo vídeos. Muchas gracias. Vale, campeón. That was so sweet. He basically just said, "Come back anytime. You have a friend here." So it's good, it's good to feel that sense of community after making connections in this city. Here we are, Chester Coffee and Juices here in Sevilla. Would highly recommend this place if you're kind of looking for American-style healthy acai bowls. They're absolutely delicious. Just got my food here. I'm gonna enjoy this one last time before heading to the airport very soon. I'm here inside the Madrid airport. I have about 25 minutes before my gate is announced. And then I'm heading to Nantes in France to meet my best friend from the United States and his family. I'm really excited for the next part of this trip, which will include going to France for the first time ever in my life. Paris, Brittany, the beach, all of that. It's going to be incredible. This is my first time going on a plane like this. It's always been connected to the gate for me. I have never been surrounded by so much French. It's very cool. Hello, everybody. Okay, I'm here at the Nantes train station, I think, uh, hopefully. Um, but this seems like a pretty cool city, actually. There's cool buildings behind me. Let's go figure out where this train is coming. Okay, everybody, I'm here with Stan. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. Very okay. good, and you? I'm, I'm good. Now <laughs> that you helped me find the train, which I wouldn't have found otherwise, so let's go. Welcome to France, everybody! Made it to Lorient here at this uh, wedding party. Welcome to the vlog, man. Hello, hello. We are in France. We are in Brittany. And we're having some breakfast post wedding. Um, and yeah, I'm feeling dead, but we're ready for a great trip. So I'm at the venue of a wedding that my friend Micah and his family were at yesterday. Now there's like a brunch going on. But check this out it's a cool old French building. I'm gonna be here for the next few days, but it is insanely beautiful. French countryside, first time here in the country, and I'm very excited to spend the next few days here in Brittany and then go to Paris. This beach is absolutely beautiful. Quite a change from the pure heat of Sevilla with nothing refreshing around. Beach was amazing, yes sir. And now we're heading for a good French dinner. About to get some dinner, um, shoot some hoops in the backyard of this beautiful house. We're now having dinner with Micah's family's friends in France. Uh, it's really fun, they're all just kind of eating delicious food, speaking French, and also a little bit of German at the dinner table. I can't understand any of it, but it's just a really fun vibe, and the food is delicious. I'm about to destroy these French kids very easily. They all play, they all play football, so they don't know what they're doing. Yeah, so. 3v3 basketball, France versus USA. Here we go. The French absolutely took that. We missed all our shots at the end of the game. I shot uh, four for eight. Did decent. But next, yeah. next time, man. Next time. As this is the last video in my series of studying abroad in Spain, I wanted to come here at the end and just make a little reflection of sorts. It definitely feels weird right now not to be with this group of people that I spent a month of my life with and got to know and became friends with. So that to me has been the worst part of this experience. Having to say bye to everyone, leaving Sevilla behind, you know, a new home of sorts. Sevilla is without a doubt a place I want to return to in the future, especially now that I have connections and friends there and memories that I made there that make it feel like home. I want to thank everybody who made this such a special experience. All you fellow students out there watching, I appreciate you watching the videos. You made this a very fun time. 
my program leader, Carrie, all the other amazing program leaders, my host mom, especially, Chari, I appreciate you. My Spanish teacher, Jose, one of the best teachers I've ever had. This has been such a great chapter of my life. I'm so happy I decided to document it here on this channel. So thank you all for coming along. And in the next few days, I'll be posting a bunch of videos from my short trip before school starts here in Brittany, France and Paris. I hope you have a great day. Peace.